This video is created by Jagrat Creations. This video is useful to the students who are reading for inter CA means IPC or IPCC. This video is also useful to the students who are reading for a Fibicom or say undergraduation course and it is also useful to the students who are reading for professional courses like ICW and CS Executive who has this chapter in their syllabus. The name of the chapter is Insurance Claim for Loss of Stock. Now for the purpose of solving the sum, which I intend to take care of, let me give you the hints for solving the sum. It is a theory discussion, useful for the purpose of solving the sum. Now whenever you want to find out the insurance claim for loss of stock, you need to find out stock existed at the moment of fire. How to find out stock existed at the moment of fire? Because fire occurs at any time. It occurs without notice. When the fire occurs, businessman is not knowing how much stock existed in his go down or the premises. Now fire has occurred, everything is destroyed. He is not knowing what is the total value of stock available in his go down or premises before fire. Now he, he has already taken the insurance. Now he goes to the insurance company that give us a claim for loss of stock. Insurance company says that what is the value of stock that has been lost? The businessman says that I don't know. Then what is the way out? He should have counted the stock before the fire took place. Can he do that? No. If he knows that fire is going to take place, he will start removing the goods rather than counting the value of stock. So no businessman generally knows stock existed at the moment of fire and for that he is required to make an estimate estimate of the stock that is likely to have been existed at the moment of fire subject to risk of fire and on the basis of that estimate he has to make a claim before the insurance company. Now for the purpose of finding out the goods that existed at the moment of fire you are required to prepare a statement alike to similar to trading account which is known as memoranda trading account. Now this memoranda trading account is prepared to find out the stock existed at the moment of fire if the normal rate of gross profit is given. Generally trading account is prepared to find out the gross profit. But here the normal rate of gross profit is available to you on the basis of past experience or on the basis of consistent policy of a businessman. Now the gross profit is available in this trading account. Then what can we find out? The closing stock, something alike to that is stock existed at the moment of fire. So memoranda trading account is prepared with a purpose to find out stock existed at the moment of fire, that is the closing stock on the date of fire. This memoranda trading account is a statement. It is prepared exactly alike to trading account. It starts with the opening stock, but the opening stock is always recorded at cost. When purchase of goods only is to be recorded here, only purchase of goods is to be recorded here. Why? Because we have taken an insurance for stock. Similarly, wages only for operating activity, carriage inward, etc., and the wages for material handling is to be taken care of. Now purchase of goods are recorded only those purchases for which the delivery has been received. Now on the sales, 
the opposite side the sales is recorded which sales is recorded only for the goods that has been delivered so goods delivered were kept out of the risk out of the risk of fire so it is to be deducted so it is recorded in the opposite side but it includes the profit element so that gross profit in the sales will be recorded on the on this side of the trading account so sales minus gross profit it will come to the cost of goods sold now any goods delivered at cost other than sales now any goods delivered at cost other than sales which are they goods given for goods given for charity goods stolen goods taken for personal use these are the goods outgoings which are normally recorded at cost if they are not recorded at cost they have to be converted at its cost and after converting its cost should be recorded either on this credit side below sales or it can be deducted from the purchases so purchases minus goods outward other than meant for sale so this goods delivered at cost other than sales either recorded it here or it can be deducted from the purchases the better course of action is to deduct it from purchases but so many authors and teachers are of the opinion both the accounting treatments are right so i have mentioned both now this sales multiplied by rate of gross profit available so you will get the gross profit total of this minus total of this apparent credit side the difference is found out that is stock at the date of fire the same stock at the date of fire can be worked out on the basis of statement that we can prepare instead of preparing trading account we can prepare a statement to find out the stock existed at the day, at the date of on the date of fire all the details will be presented in this statement in the different mode opening stock plus purchase of goods plus wages for operating activity the total is known as total cost of goods available for sale from that deduct the cost of goods sold sales minus gross profit is the cost of goods sold also deduct goods delivered at cost other than sales these two are deducted total of these two is deducted you will get the stock on the date of fire so these are the optional ways in which you can find out the stock existed at the moment of fire now this stock existed at the moment of fire the insurance must have been taken for this much of stock if the insurance or the risk in short is less than the stock existed it is known as under insurance and where there is an under insurance average close is applicable suppose that if the insurance taken is more than the cost of goods it is known as over insurance by that you don't get the excessive payment than the loss because insurance contract may good the monetary equivalent of loss sustained so you can't make profit out of insurance contract so in case of over insurance you can't make profit but in case of under insurance you don't get your total risk is not covered that i'll explain in detail while solving the sum now i want you to read this sum just read this sum now let me explain the important points of this sum stock of goods 10% lower than the cost as i told to you opening stock is to be recorded at cost so this is 10% less so given value is 90% so 90% is equal to this value how much for 100% so 216000 divided by 19 90% is the cost of goods so this is the cost of goods that will be recorded in memorandum trading account purchase is less return 280000 on 20th october 2015 purchase is up to 20th october means till the date of fire till the date of fire did not include 40000 for with the purchase invoice has not been received so from supplier though the goods were received in the go down 
so purchase invoice was not received so not recorded as purchases but the goods were received so they were subject to fire so what to do this delivery has been received and these goods are also likely to have been destroyed so what is to be done goods received before the date of fire if not included in the purchases are added to the purchases and they are as they are subject to the risk of fire so hence the purchase is to be recorded to like 80000 plus 40000 These are the purchases to be recorded in memorandum trading account. Sales, sales up to twenty eighth October two thousand fifteen, including eighty thousand, for which goods have not been dispatched. If the goods are not dispatched, goods doesn't go out. If they don't go out, they are with the trader. So what to do? The sales that is to be recorded in memorandum trading account, which is always that sales. For which delivery has been made. So, sales six twenty, delivery not made. So this is the value of sales will be recorded in memorandum trading account. Now let me start solving the sum. Opening stock, as I told to you, two lakh sixteen thousand divided by ninety percent. So two lakh forty thousand gets recorded. In case of purchases, as I have explained to you, forty thousand gets added from sales. You are required to deduct eighty thousand, being goods not delivered. You are river. You are given the rate of gross profit. Past record shows the gross profit rate at twenty five percent. Now you are not given the twenty five percent of sales or twenty five percent of cost. That information is not given to you. But if some no such specific information is given, then gross profit by default is calculated on the basis of sales. So it, this twenty five percent is considered to be a twenty five percent on sales. So five lakh forty thousand into twenty five percent. This is a gross profit. Sales minus gross profit means cost of sales. Now from six lakh ninety five thousand deducted five lakh forty thousand, you will get the stock on the date of fire. One lakh fifty-five thousand. How much is the insurance against that? The insurance policy for stock is one lakh. So one lakh fifty-five thousand is greater than one lakh. So you have taken or you have covered the risk to the extent of one lakh against the stock existed to the tune of one lakh fifty-five thousand. So it is an under insurance risk covered. Is less than stock existed, so this is under insurance. In case of under insurance, what happens? There is a risk partnership between insurance company and the trader. What is the proportion of risk borne by insurance company? So risk covered by the insurance contract is one lakh divided by one lakh fifty five thousand. This is the proportion of risk that has been covered. Because we have gone for an insurance policy for a lesser amount under insurance. Now risk not covered. One lakh fifty five thousand minus one lakh fifty five thousand is the value of stock not covered by insurance policy. So fifty five thousand upon one lakh fifty five thousand is the risk not covered. That much loss, this proportion of loss has to be borne by the trader, and this sharing of risk. Between insurance company and the trader, in case of under insurance, is known as application of average clause. Now let me work out the claim. Stock existed at the moment of fire one lakh fifty five thousand. Stock salvaged, not destroyed by fire. Thirty one thousand, one fifty five minus thirty one thousand. So you will get the loss by fire. Loss of stock by far one lakh twenty four thousand. Now this loss multiplied by this proportion is the insurance claim. This loss multiplied by this not covered proportion, the loss to be borne by the trader because of under insurance under average clause. Now let me apply the formula. Amount of claim is equal to insurance value divided by value of stock and the date of fire. That is this proportion multiplied by this loss of stock. So here. One lakh divided by one lakh fifty-five thousand into one lakh twenty-four thousand. So the insurance claim 
will be 80,000. So insurance claim will be 80,000. Though the loss is 124,000, insurance claim is how much? 80,000. This is how it gets worked out. Look at the proportion that matches as per the formula. This is how the sum gets solved. I feel that you have followed this sum. Thanks to all of you.